All right, and welcome back to another episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And it, it, it is 79 degrees in Chicago. Amazing. So, we're going to start out, uh, we got a new photo by George. There you go. Forever Town Railroad. Very cool. I like how that comes out of the side of the mountain there, or hill. Very interesting texture pack. Very cool. So, um, apparently, he is linking four towns together. That's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty cool when it when it's done. So, and as always, if you want your pictures immortalized on a video streaming service, you can go to Richard Jeffrey Show at Gmail dot com. Yep, and there's a picture of the 4th of July fireworks that we got robbed of. So there, which was really cool. A lot of people, a lot of people had um, watched that video. Thank you. So we're out here at the modern world, and why did I bounce on the table? Oh, well. Uh, it, there was a question about the penguins. Well, I can't find my penguin now. I was playing with the penguin all while getting ready. There's a cat on the ledge. Don't jump. And of course, this is mind test. This is, this is nobody gets hurt. Well, you you can die here, but there's a puppy. There's a cat walking into a wall. My penguins are gone. That's the only bad thing I noticed about. Uh, George was also asking um, what mod you get the, uh, the, can you get a dog in? Well, uh, Mobs Redo has uh, the wolf, and once you tame the wolf, it, turn, it, it turns into a tame wolf, but it looks like a dog. It turns from gray to brown. And on pets, there's the puppy. But, and that you can... And I'll show that. Let's see. Um, I think the penguin gets clownfish. Where's the penguin at? We've got a lot of stuff to do today. Oh, there's a tame moth, a tame fox. It would help if I had this all planned out. There's a puppy. Puppy tamed. So the problem is, that's not what I wanted. Well, there's a puppy. And he, uh, the puppy gets bones. I wanted the penguin. There it is. So somebody was asking about the penguin. Now in uh, in pets, there's uh, a penguin, and in mobs redo animals, there's a penguin. There's there's that penguin, mobs redo, and there's the pets penguin, and the pets penguin gets uh, the clownfish. Oh, there's one. He's Stuck. I keep doing that. Is he a pet? No, he's a um, and he's gone. Oh, he's standing up. That's why. So if I go into get the clownfish, there's two different clownfishies. There he is. How you doing? So the clownfish from Pets Redo, and it shows the penguin at full health. Great. So we have there. But the other one doesn't eat. It eats the clownfish from the pets mod. So there's two different clownfish, and there's two different um, there is two different penguins that I have, and both are really cool. I thought I lost the one penguin. The one thing the penguin from Mobs Redo will uh, go on its belly and scoot along. You can pick it. Uh, I keep saying that I missed. You can pick them up. Uh, but I keep missing. And then the pets one has this. You can name them and do other things. Yes, Mr. Dog. Ooh. He didn't like that. Oh, well. What do you want? Name him Puppy. 
that's not why we're here. We are here because look how cool that looks. I know. So we are here because we are looking at some new buildings and we are building something today. Yes, we are. Now, um, I will show this off when I get more further along with it, the signs and everything. So first things up is this building looked a little goofy. So I completely added this center section. Now it, it kind of went away with all my stairs and everything. I got to re-put that in. However, it looks better longer. So as you remember, the, um, the building had, I'm going to follow that through. Oh, it does go through. How nice. I'm going to do something more with that. But you can see it's all back to one piece and there's no, there's no stairway. So we are going to fix that. And it looks better. So you have that. It just needed to be, it needed to be um, wider. So that, and it'll, it'll let me do a proper staircase. This center part is going to be like a glass hallway. And then, you know, there's, there'll be extra room. This way it won't take into the, uh, I can make each, like two apartments on each side. And that'll be cool. We're going to go back to daytime here. And we are also going to get rid of the clownfish since I don't need them. And on here, so this is the new site. This is like a new section. I've, I'm still playing around with the settings. And somebody, you know, I, they said, what lag? They're dealing with horrendous lag. Yeah, part of my problem is is that I had the settings wrenched up so high on OBS Studio that it was causing problems. So there is that. So I, I set the settings down, so we are going to see how well we do. So I played around with this building. I lowered, I added an extra rung of blocks here because it, it's just too much of the brick. But we have that, we have this building here, we have this building. Now, what I've done is these doorways here are the ones that lead up to our upper units. So we have studio, you know, studio apartments and one bedroom apartments going in. So that looks really neat. And then we have, you can enter the first floor. Wow. But that's how I'm solving getting up to the other units. Now this one, this is really cool. So we have this building here, and I did it out of another brick that's in the R block mod. Um, I recolored some bricks. Can't remember how uh, or what the brick was actually called. I think I got it from Seam Seamless Bricks from uh, Open Clip or op OpenGamer.org. So this is a business over here. Little delivery doors here. And I might do some, I might make the stairs out of a different material, but we come up here. This is another building that I ended up uh, stretching. So these could either be apartments or they could be stores or businesses, whatever. There's a lot of room in here, but that's okay. It's hard to get the perspective right. I went out the front door this time instead of the back door. So we have that. And that turned out really cool. I like the color combination. Nice. So we have this building over here. I wanted to figure out what I was going to do. And I hate sitting through commercials. And YouTube is notorious for these. Wait, let me get rid of the mouse here. Goodbye. So YouTube is notorious for now all of a sudden, you know, they, they demonetize everybody that's under a thousand subs and uh, 4,000 hours, which is fine. And they then say they don't have enough ads to go around, but now everybody is served up two ads at a time. And if you're lucky enough, you can get the ads that are 14 minutes to, I've gotten an ad that is 30 minutes long. 
the audacity of some of these manufacturers or businesses or scam artists, you know, the ones that, you know, you could do all uh, like a self-help, um, gain more followers and all this and that and come to my seminar. And, uh, if I get one more London real ad it, it, and no matter how many times that you sit there and you say, stop, I don't want to see this ad anymore. Purpose. I, I almost believe that purposely they serve you that ad. I kid you not. You sit there and you click on, do not show me this ad anymore. And then the next ad is that same ad. So there, <laughs> so, I hate it. You know, I, I'm tired of the excuses and, and everything else on that. So there you have it. So this is going to be a huge apartment complex building. And I needed something that was going to go in this area and fit. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Okay. So I needed something that was going to fit in here and look uh, very similar. So we have the park. We have all the, the cool buildings and and everything else down here. And it's sort of an older section. Like these are these are more older style. And we have a sort of newer style building over here. I really like that building. And an old older style, really good looking building. But now we get we get into the modern stuff. We have the modern uh, design building. And we have this building here, which is more modern, more decorative. But then I needed something, and I'm going to have the same problem over here. But I'm going to solve that because this tree is staying. I really like that mistake. And the same with that one. This one, eh, it's going. But over here, so the, the thing that ties in with the commercials is there was a five-minute long commercial from some building developer on this new fangle uh, apartment complex and as much as I hated the five minute ad I watched it because the design of the building was very inspiring so this is not even remotely looking like it because the first floor well I'm integrating a parking garage here and I did put in the gate so it, it does open Nice. So I integrated the parking garage, and we had this lobby over here, and we have our attack, our attack chihuahua here, the doggy. Nice. And now this whole thing isn't going to be parking. On the other side is going to be, um. Well, I'll show you. On the other side here, so we have the decorations all the way around, and these are just smaller, the smaller bricks cut on the. A circular saw because I don't like textures that are uh, joined together but the same level. I don't like uh, joining textures. There's a cat sleeping. We're gonna step over him. A pa couple pandas. Okay. So here is a design that is going to allow air to get out and in, into the garage. It's not meant to be a sealed wall. I like that design. I've used it in walls before. And I might use it as the fence around this place. As we come over here, this section over here is going to be where we have um, different rooms. Now, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a pig. Nice. So over here, in the section that I'm talking about, if we look at, uh, let's go too high too high like there's something sort of similar to that now we, we needed to go three and then I'm going to put a top on them so I can come in here and go nothing I do need this. Oh no, I I can do this too. We're gonna go to go to a half slab here. It, it I'm I'm still not one hundred percent. You see, I don't like that because I would rather have. That doesn't look bad either. 
it should have this darker color on top. See, you get these connected textures, but there's a way around that. So I'm still, I'm still playing with how I want this to look. I can also turn these over, which I'm going to play with. Actually, I think I solved my problem. And I can always, now I can uh, do the bottom. So it's a big, how you say, there we go. It's a big, um, just trial and error. So that's not bad. I can live with that. Being like that. What it would be cool is to put a U here, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that's an idea on a fence. That's actually, see, I like how that turned out. So I'm going to keep that. We're going to see, because we have to put a fence in. There's no other way around that. All right, so the second floor is going to be the uh, residence. So over here, there's going to be a pool. That's why I flew. Over here, there's going to be a pool, possibly a tennis court. But then again, I really don't care about that. Uh, this is going to be fenced off. And this is going to be like a mini park area, which is hence the trees here. So I have to uh, get the pool in to find out how how big that I want it here with the, with the decking. So inside here is going to be uh, locker rooms. And then uh, in a lot of high end buildings, they'll have like uh, different um, amenities such as a convenience store or dry cleaning or something like that. So this whole area here is not going to be a parking garage. A lot of it will be though. And that solves the problem of, uh, what to do about cars. And the one thing I liked about that commercial is the use of the wood. Now, this wood is not as dark as the one in there, and there's going to be a lot more that I'm going to play with here because this is going to have the elevators and the stairs to get up to the second and third floor. And then there's going to be doors here. And it's probably going to be the same uh, gateway doors to have them open and shut because I think it looks really cool when they're shut. All right, so the, that's that. That's how that will play off. So let us see how we are going to build this. I want to keep, fo I want to follow this up. This is going to be about three to four stories, but there is also a way uh, I don't know if I want to stay with the same texture. Now each, it's going to be four high. And each one is going to have a window and a patio. So we're going to go two, and then we're going to go one. And it's going to have these fangled windows, two. Let's see how this is going to look. Um, like that, and then three, actually three is going to be small, oh well, we'll we're going to see here, one, two, three, that's nine feet, four, five, I'm going to have to see how much I did with the patio. But these are going to be, mm, one, two, and then the patio, one, see if I go like this, and one, two, three, four, five. And then like this. 
So there's going to be a lot of trial and nice lag, trial and error in this phase. So let us do this. That's going to be a room, then more rooms, and then we can do three. And I can also do some kind of decoration in between here because, actually right there, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Huh. Now this is where this is where it's going to be. We don't want that. We want from here to here. And we're going to copy that one. Or we're going to stack that one. Actually two. Nice. How much further do I have? It would have been nice to, to see. That's going to be a lot of units. I mean, really. I almost want to do an outward bal a balcony. I really want to do an outward balcony. I think I think that would look cool. So let's do um let's do four. Okay, three is my limit. Because I want to save this center section. I don't know. Who knows? Because it didn't it didn't go right. Of course not. Nothing goes right here. I want to I want to keep and everything, everything is in um, a design, design stage. I know that makes no sense. Um, and anything is subject to change. Now we have that, so we can come one, two, three, four. But it's all, it's all hit or miss. And I purposely didn't build this because I wanted to do it live so people can get a, a different perspective on what am I doing? I can't blame that on lag. No, sorry. All right. I hate doing this. I see so many people in, in Minecraft and mind test. They try to, they try to put these windows in and it's hilarious because they just keep failing. When you can hit a big a big target like that. So what I want to do is I want to keep this style going. Oh, look at that. You see, I like that. Because I can also, I can also, um, not only can I keep this area here, but I can also open this up and have like an atrium. I, I really want to do an out. So we have, we have like the bedrooms and we have, I think this, I think having the balconies come out would be really cool on this building. But there was also an idea that I don't think will work. And that was having another color. So let's take this. This is, just, like I said, this is like planning phase. We can take this, we can take another color, 
and something similar to what I did on that one house. That's kind of cool. Because it's also it's going to continue up. But do I want to do it for every window? Why not? We're in the planning phase. And do I want to do that center? Because I can also just bust out that center and put in another one. So let's see how this looks before we before we go off. And I like doing this because, you know, you're not really building these things, are you? It takes so long. It takes so long for me to build because I use this as a like a relaxation. <laughs> Not saying that I'm high strung or anything of that nature. Uh, kind of the um, the opposite. I am lazy beyond belief. But what I like to do is I like to sit there and take. Oh, I'm liking that. I think it it may look a little too busy. Let's see, well, how many we have? That doesn't, okay, one, two, three, four. So we have four units on this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to carry, we're going to carry that over to this side. Now, the other thing is, there is enough, I believe there is enough room here for a hallway and more units along the back side. So there's more, there's going to be a couple units here, and then there's going to be units here. And then this is not going to be anything. This is just going to be um, a wall. And it can have windows on it. And so I'm liking this, because if we come in here, we come in on the inside here, and this is our unit. And we, even if we go here, and then... So this would be, we have enough, we have one block between the window and one block between here. Even if we take this all the way back, we're going to be able to put a floor plan in here. With one bedroom, two bedrooms, a kitchen, and you know, whatnot. So I think that will work. And then the hallway down the center of the building leading there's going to be a stairwell over there, a stairwell on that side, and then the stairwell and elevator in the middle. So that will work. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this. Um, so we have one, two, one, two, one. I'm going to continue the windows, not the patio. I'm going to continue this. That looks pretty cool. Figure out how much how much depth that I want. I'm gonna split this in half and then make a hallway. And then each each room here will get windows. And then ultimately what I'll do is I'll pick this block and go all the way to the corner and pick the other block once I get this floor done. And then I'm just gonna stack the floor up as many floors as I want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also get the um the inside here to do that. So let us see what we might want to do with a balcony. So if I come out by two, if I come out by two, we can do that. No, really? I haven't said that yet in this episode. Two and a half. Now, what I usually do is I take, um, I, why am I carrying around that wall stone? Let's get rid of some stuff here. I could also make, you know what? All right, we have that. We have, and then tan one, tan one. Let's go back into here and put this in here. We need that. And we need this. And you get to watch the magic. I'm doing magic. Um, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I got to take that off. Crap. 
Actually, I, I'm probably going to end up doing away with that because I can't make that work. What in the world? I need that over. Why is that not? Okay, that, that, yeah. So we need, it should just have done two. There we go. So what this is doing is this. I love this commentary. I like doing these half, these little half blocks. And you're going to see why in a second. So we're going to do that. And then we put that little, that little block there. And what that does is it allows the fence. Let's get this um, there. It allows, oh, of course, everything's going to, there we go. So when I put the railing of the fences or the windows, it allows it to sit and, and look like it is flush with that. Doesn't that look cool? And you could, so you could take this out and do any kind of material that you want in here. I could actually do wood if I wanted to. I like that. I think it needs that because I'm going to have to get, get rid of this ridge here. And it doesn't matter that these don't line up. These are actually perfectly spaced. One, two, three, indent, one, indent, one, two, three. So that pattern is, is cool. Now I can, oh, that's, that's going to be a problem here. So what we will do is we'll do this little trick here. By placing it like that and then going back to see that pole, it'll cause that. Now, I could go in. Nathan um, rewrote that mod part where I could actually uh, put in a blacklist of materials that I do not want to connect to other materials. And I can make this pole part of it since I do have that in other mods. So we have that. I think that looks a lot better. So, what I can also do is, I don't know if this is going to work. So, we collect one and two. And we are going to copy that. I can't remember how to do it. One, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to copy that by eight. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, fourteen. I think that worked. Yes, it did. Now we got to get rid of this. Usually what I'll do is I will um, like I do a quick test. The only other thing is now is I have two more to do. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 22. Let's go for broke here. 22. Oh. Why? Why did it do that? Five to six to seven, twenty-eight. Huh. Now I got to do the same thing for here. You'd think, you know what? You'd, you would think that I learned. 
I believe it's it's doubling it. So the whole thing is making making one's life one's life easier. Yeah, I don't think I need this anymore. And I was thinking the reason why I put the that edging in is because I thought I was going to um change the color. So now if we go 28 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. <laughs> Look at that. I am a mind test god. I got lucky. But once once you once you figure that out. So, like I said, this was supposed to be a barrier for adding. Um, so it, it would have done away with the connected connected texture, but I don't need it anymore. So what we have is we have that, and like I said, the the colors are going to go up three floors. And also, what I'll do is, I'm going to put in a general floor plan. I'm going to basically complete this floor. And then, uh, just copy the entire floor. And then look up in the sky and stack it as many floors as I want. So I am liking that. I'm thinking about changing the color of the, of the balcony. But we have some upscale apartments now, which are going to be really cool. And it, it fits in this area. So then I, across the way, I'm going to have another. There's going to be another um, addition. I like that. That I, That's turning out more and more the way I want it. So there's going to, obviously there's going to be buildings here. And there's continuation down here and buildings here. I do want to add in a lot of trees and parks to my world. This is going to be a building color that I want to use over here, but I think it'll go in. It won't. Um, it's going to be too similar to the brick, so I'm thinking about that or making it double uh, dual uh, colors. Also, what I want to do is I want to bring in somewhere down here the train system, and we're, we are going to have an elevated L line that will go down probably probably somewhere over here we are going to have an elevated train because if we come over here and we go down deep enough it can link up with the train system on this side let's see where we're at train wise Oh, I'm not even anywhere near it. And here's why. You have to cross over. You have to cross over the bridge. And the train system is actually over here. So here's the end of the road. And if we come down, there's our train tunnel right there. And so what we can do is we can tie the elevated line into the subway over here for the um, for the the outdoor or the um, the research center right there. So even if I come back right about here, and I can create a tunnel or I can create another bridge. Probably a tunnel. I'm going to have to really play with that and figure it out because I can tie the two subway, or I could actually um, keep that going. But I want, one of, my, one of my goals with this town is to have an elevated L line. And I think right back here would be the perfect candidate for it. 
and also to have an above ground because we have the blocks for that. All right, so that's going to do it. You get to see. So that's how I plan out my buildings, and we're going to continue. We're going to continue this up probably three stories. I think that would fit in here. Yeah, three stories. That will fit in. And then I'm also going to look at changing, possibly using that black color for here. And go from there. So, that's going to do it. This is going to turn out really cool. I'm really liking that. So, I just wanted to bring you along for the build process. And just how I plan things out and how I think. I don't really sit down and create a plan. I find that to be... Um, not ingenuous, but I, is, I don't plan the whole thing out. You know, this is going to be the completed plan. This is how it's going to be because the plan will change, you know, every, every, with every iteration, every time I come up with a new idea or the, how that looks like that inset, that inset was not supposed to be there with the different color change. I knew I wanted to do something like that, but only on one side of the building. So everything's changed. This building went through many changes before I finally settled on that idea. So I think that that's what you want to do because that ultimately is going to get what you really want, um, the effect. And up here, that fish tank that is in the pets mod, those are the clownfish from the pets mod. The other clownfish will not go in there. So that's going to do it for today. So um, thank you again for joining. And until next episode, everybody stay safe and uh, have fun. Yeah. Go from there. So until next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>